Hey, what's up, E-Mini Minders? This is Trader Tim from over at eminimind.com, and we're doing a uh, trade recap video for this week, uh, really the first week back for me. Monday, I didn't take any trades here in the ES. Uh, Tuesday, uh, the live trading session um, was kind of a wash. A couple of first targets hit, but uh, that was really about it. You can find all of those recordings, the Tuesday live sessions, uh, in the dashboard over at eminimind.com slash VIP. Wednesday was a little bit better. And um, if I go zoom in here to 15 minute chart, I'm gonna go with a 30 minute chart just to give us some perspective. So Wednesday here, we started with a little bit of an uptrend, the pullback, and then uh, kind of rallied into about the last hour of the day. And so the first trade I had was actually a high tick at highs about 30 minutes into the day. And so, you know, we started off a little bit of an uptrend here and we started getting some resistance up here at the 32, it was a 47.75. And so this swing low was kind of the um, point at which we broke this little double top. And I get the question about, you know, is it a double top? Is it not a double top? And the concept surrounding, does it have to be the exact same price? If I'm a tick off, is it still a double top? If there's an hour between the two prices with a dip or a bounce in between, is it still a double top? From a trade execution standpoint, I like this type of a scenario where, you know, we've only got about five minutes or less between either these two points where we really don't have much time at all between them and we really don't dip very far at all, but we do have two red candles that form kind of a minor swing low and then we have the dip here and we touch highs again and it all still within you know five minutes or so and so these are the double tops that I like um, ideally this dip would be a little bit bigger but because we had a high tick here at highs I chose to draw from highs to lows which it ended up being this swing low so I grabbed from highs I had my my anchor point here that filled me and the 4675 as the entry put the stop at 3248 and a quarter so that way you know this short has a stop above highs which is you know where I want to get out if the if the market were to move higher so we kind of moved down briefly, took some heat, moved down again, and then eventually got a uh, first target hit down here. Actually, no, uh, wrong trade. I was thinking of uh, Tuesday. This one did not get a first target hit. So it was a nice setup with the high tick at highs. I really like that play, especially at the top of the first 30 minute range. Just kind of going back through my notes here. So I would definitely take that one again. And as we go to today's trades, uh, you can you know, kind of see that same scenario playing out only in the side of a winning trade. So um, that was a, a great trade. I totally take it again, but um, that one just didn't work out. Uh, the next one was actually a low tick of the day. <clears throat> so flip side, I didn't take anything here on, the, on this move down, but as we got over to it was right at the 90 minute mark. This low, about eight, uh, so it'd be an hour and uh, 15 minutes into the day. If you look over here on the 30 minute chart, you can see we had the tail. First 30 minutes, we filled the gap from the prior day. This tail came down and it made a uh, low tick for the day. It wasn't the low price, but we did have this nice clean downtrend, lower highs and lower lows on the way down. And this situation right here, where we broke the swing high over here, set up 
a nice pullback into a long setup and that also being kind of towards the bottom of the range for the day so at this point you know i don't know it's it's going to end up being a, a trend into the afternoon so i just you know all i have to go on is okay we're we're range bound so uh try to short at highs uh it didn't keep me in it but it ended up going down so let me try going long at lows and so this one the th uh, 41 is what i took and then got a really quick rip so first target hit blew through the negative 23 percent target and then at that point you know i'm i'm assessing okay my entry's 41 we're sitting up here at like a 44 as we got to about a 45 you know i can do one of two things i can draw up the next retracement like this and i can put my stop below the 61.8 let me get that drawing better here And so I can start trailing the 618, so like a 42, and then come up here and do 42 and a quarter, and then bring it up here. But as I look at the price, you know, price up here is at 46, and my stop would be down at 42. That's four points. That's getting a little bit wide, um, like the distance between where price is and where my stop is. And so, yes, I could leave, like... I could leave my stop really conservatively far away, but what I prefer to do is get in here and start trailing each candle's low as we, you know, we're, we're about four points away from where my current stop is uh, down below the swing low. And so by trailing each candle's low, or at least as quickly as you can, you end up, I ended up getting taken out of basically all but, uh, I left one contract to be conservative with. And so we had this really quick run up. So I took, you know, the good portion or the, um, basically breaking it up. I start with thirds. So the first third I took off at two points. And then because the run up was so quickly, I just took the middle chunk off. And then I left, uh, I just let, basically took it down to one contract. It's kind of the start of the year. It was a quick ripper and wanted to just lock in some gains to kind of get a boost on the year. So that's why I you know, played it the way I did. Uh, and I ended up taking it off up here at a uh, 32, what was the exact, uh, 31, uh, sorry, 32.4575 up underneath here. And we ended up pulling back. I had the one contract left that is that I leave under the 618, the next trade. And that one took, oh, it's like a couple of minutes. I mean, it, the, the thing just screamed right back to the top of the range. And that's always my target. When I'm getting long at lows, I'm kind of targeting the top of the range. So over here, 47 was pretty close to the top of the range. So, you know just kind of weighing reward to risk here. Um, I chose to take most of the position off um, by trailing aggressively and then leaving the one contract left. Caught, you know, a decent move. And uh, even with one contract, you know, that's great to lock in some extra gains. And then I just did the same thing. Trailed each candle's low when we broke out up here. Put my stop here. And then each candle, I really didn't even have enough time to drag it under each candle. I just kind of went as quick as I could and then got taken out up here at 32.50. So that was a nice um, a nice low ticket low setup. And then today I only had one trade, but then there were a couple of other setups later in the day that I just want to walk through while we've while we're here. Um, morning was pretty blah first 30 minute range look at how it encompasses most of the day these two lines this is the top of the range of the first 30 minutes and then the the bottom of the range for the first 30 minutes we hung out on top here went to the bottom of the range and then from the bottom of the range went back to the top and then closed kind of right on top so there wasn't a lot to do in this really in the first hour hour 20 and then we started making this
kind of the same setup as yesterday. Uh, that's why I got the two confused. Um, this low to high here traded at its 50. We were forming this quadruple top, if you will. I considered this the swing low that I needed to break to um, go short. This was not a high ticket highs. It was just a trend break. So when we broke the 61.8 here, I drew from highs down to lows, took the short 73s. Actually, it was a uh, 72, uh, 75, and uh, sorry, uh, 32, 72, 75. Um, for the short, had a quick run down, had a first target hit of two points right away. Again, on that first third, then I draw the next retracement. And I put the whole stop above that at a 72. Uh, what was I at? I use 72.50, um, and then that's where I got stopped out on the, the remainder of the position. So a small uh, little winner, but um, not as not as much follow through as uh, the day before. But same kind of thing. We had the initial breakdown, then we rallied, and see how we broke highs by just a couple of ticks, kind of faking people out, and then boom, getting the fall back to the bottom of the bottom of the first 30 minute range. That's a tough situation to catch because see over here, you don't get another, you don't get a full retracement. So don't feel bad if, you know, this kind of thing happens where you pick the direction right. And, you know, that's why we have a first target so that you can kind of get in a free trade, come away with a small gain. And then um, if it does reverse on you, you're not just taking full stop out after full stop out. But then later in the day here, um, I, I, I didn't take these two, but uh, I was just kind of here watching. And you'll notice here's the bottom of the range. Here's the top of the range, the high for the day. And both of those had a trend change where we're going lower high, lower high, lower high, down, down, down. We break the swing high and you draw from lows to highs that uh, 67.75 would have kept you in with six ticks go to the top of the range. And then once we made it to the top, again, it was the same kind of a thing where we broke the swing low here. This was the high of the day. So draw up the next, which is the first short, because we're in an uptrend here, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low. And then we break this higher low, we form a lower low, and then the lower high is what gets sold into a 7450 is what it would have been. Um, and that had a couple of points, moved down five points and then kind of petered out. So if you're if you are trading all day, those are the places when we're range bound that you want to be active. Top of the range, bottom of the range. Do not get chopped up trying to trade in the middle of the range it takes a lot of self-control and that's one of the reasons that I really kind of set some parameters for my trading focusing on the first two hours of the morning and you don't necessarily have to be you know oh it's it's uh you know 901 I can't take a trade but just kind of okay I'm going to be really focused for the first two hours and if I'm not in anything or if nothing's setting up then I'm going to close down for the day but if you just sit there kind of twiddle your thumbs force something to happen that's when bad things happen and you end up uh, kind of losing your shirt so be focused for a shorter period of time take fewer trades you'll end up doing much better in the long run. At least that's that's what I've experienced. So um, hopefully that was helpful. If you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to uh, explain anything further. And uh, I hope everyone has a great Friday, great last day of the week, and a good weekend. Thanks. We'll talk to you soon.